us. We'll take care of getting there. There's a big reason that KitchenAid is a big Shopee award winner. So let's say hi to Chef Megan. Chef Megan, this is one of those tools that really makes your life a lot easier. It, it absolutely does. It not only makes your life easier, but it inspires you to do more things. It inspires you to try different recipes. And I know so many of our viewers love to try different recipes, love to try different techniques, all kinds of stuff. So if that's you, this is the bundle for you. It's been, I think, almost two years since we've had a stand mixer, and we're coming back with a bang, with an amazing bundle that includes everything that Anne-Marie was discussing, and I'll go through everything that you're getting. In the machine right now, I do have the brand new pastry beater attachment. This is the first time we've ever, ever featured it. And the reason why we call it the pastry beater is that it's a coated metal, so it's not going to melt the butter as it combines the butter into the flour. It's going to incorporate all those ingredients really well, but it's not just for pastry. You can also use it for making mashed potatoes, potato salad, guacamole, dips, all kinds of things. Play with it, see what you can do with it. That's what's so amazing about it. We also have the Flex Edge Beater, and you're all familiar with the Flat Beater, which I always say is the workhorse of your kitchen, but this one has a flexible edge on it. Just right here, there's a little silicone piece. That's gonna go in and literally wipe the sides of your, your beater bowl, making it super, super clean and mixing everything to perfection. Then we have the dough hook. The dough hook is gonna duplicate the kneading process. Let this powerful machine uh, do everything. The zaddy wagon, the, what did you call it again? Uh, the muscle car. It's the muscle car. Let's let this muscle car do all the, the work, <laughs> all the hard work. I love that, Amory. That's my new thing, the muscle car. Then the last piece is the wire whip. This is the last attachment, and this is going to incorporate air into whatever you're doing. Please hand wash this. We want to maintain that integrity of the balloon. We're also giving you the five-quart stainless steel bowl. Stainless steel holds in temperature, so you can let things rise in it to keep them warm, or you can have them nice and cold if you're doing something really special and delicate that needs to be chilled. We're also giving you an extra bowl, a three-quart stainless steel bowl made of this exact same way so that you're going to have the same properties of holding in heat, holding in cold, and not holding in flavor, not, not keeping the flavor in. So I'm just going to all put in our brand new pouring shield. This is so exciting because now the pouring shield has these little rubber clips on it. So when you put it into your machine over the bowl, Look at this. It's going to lock into position and it's not going to swivel and move the way it has in the past. I'm going to start this off. Here's my power control from 0 to 9, right here from 0 to 9. And we always like to start off slowly and then go a little bit higher to really respect the ingredients. That's what's so amazing about the stand mixer, Emery, is that there's such a respect for whatever goes inside the bowl, whatever ingredients you're putting in there. KitchenAid knows that it's not just an on-off process. It's a process of building flavors, of building the different characteristics of whatever you're doing. So I'm using the pastry beater right now to cut in the, the butter and the flour. I'm gonna slowly add my water through the pouring shield just until it comes together. And you can hear the machine just is telling me exactly when it's time to start, to stop. Let's take off this pouring shield. And look at how quickly I have now created the most delectable, perfect, perfect pie dough in there. Perfect pie dough every single time. And notice Megan and I did it while we were chatting. And I'm taking some credit here. But right? And that's, I think, a testament to the machines doing all the work. You just make sure you get the ingredients in right. And suddenly you're baking like a professional chef. And look at this. I'm just going to show you. I'm breaking it apart. And I haven't even baked this, and you can see the layers, can't you? Yes. In here, you can see the layers that are created with the butter and flour. So just imagine how flaky that's going to be once you uh, cook it, once you bake it.